All right, so it is Monday, June 20th. I booked the nicest room here at the Flamingo Hotel Casino in Las Vegas. But look at this line. The line goes all the way back there. Let me tell you, that check-in, Flamingo check-in is a complete nightmare, we'll talk about that later. But I finally got into the room. This room, like I said, is the best room at the Flamingo. It's called the Metropolitan Suite. Let's show you guys around. So this room cost me a grand total of $500 for the night, and it's a Monday. Usually Mondays are the cheapest days to get rooms here in Vegas, but it is the summer season, so, you know, makes sense. This room is pretty cool though, so it comes with basically two bedrooms, and then you have the living room area with the living room, the bar, the dining room table. Now this one is cool because one of the rooms has two queen beds and the other one has a king, but I believe there's also versions of this room that come with each room having the two queens. So you can essentially have four friends. You all go in on this room and split the price and it's a pretty affordable, pretty awesome room to share and a good kind of like social and party room for your trip. <laughs> now. While all that sounds really good, I do want you guys to know that this room is really beat up and it's kind of a little dingy. Um, I'll show you a lot of shots right here. I wouldn't, it's definitely a little dirty. It's not terrible, you know, this is a room for partiers, you know? It's not a good room if you're with family, if you're older and you wanna be in like a luxury kind of room. Uh, even though it's like a big kind of nice room, it's, it's not that. This is like a party room, it's worn. Be aware of that if you're gonna book, you know? Flamingo's kind of like a party property or people that are really trying to cut costs, you know? Cause this is also one of the hotels on the strip that always is among the cheapest. So we do not have the strip view here, but we have the beautiful pool view. And in addition, we're overlooking the Flamingo Wildlife Habitat. If you're unfamiliar, the Flamingo Hotel has a little outdoor section with some wildlife. Flamingos, some fish, and other cool little creatures. The Lake Promenade, we see a little bit of that. We see the high roller and the almost finished MSG sphere in the background. So pretty cool view and, and more. All right, we're about to head downstairs, check out the casino, maybe do some gambling, and we're going to see the show that they have here. The Piff the Magic Dragon, he's a magician slash comedian, I believe. But before we head downstairs, they do have some really old audio equipment here, stereo equipment. I don't even know if it's compatible with the current iPhones and Androids and stuff, but a lot of speakers here. It literally says iPod. <laughs> Old school. How did you describe this hallway earlier? <laughs> it felt a little bit like being at a hospital, besides the carpet. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so it's been almost two full years since I last stayed here and made a video. And yeah, just happy to be back, do a new episode, new version, maybe talk about what things are the same, what are different. And so far, f similar vibes, similar vibes. All right, it's about 6.15, 6.30ish, still a big line. We got lucky. We were able to check in uh, online. And so there was a separate line. So there's the main super long line and then there is a small line for online check-ins. 
I think a lot of people just didn't realize that you, you were able to do that. So if you do come to stay here, check in online, check your email. You can go to the shorter line. Um, so you can avoid that huge long, you know, the main line. Please welcome the stage, the Godzilla of magic, the act that puts the reptile in the reptile dysfunction, and the loser on America's Got Talent. Let me hear ya! here I did not get to see the Piff the Magic Dragon show. We just got back from it. That was funny. Big fan of the Piff. So it's about 10 a.m. We had a really good night's sleep actually. Bed's pretty comfortable. We're gonna go to the pool now. But real quick, let's just uh, call downstairs and get an extra hour of late checkout. It's 10 a.m. now, so let's just call. Uh, Hang on. Let's see. Mm, concierge. Oh, this one doesn't work. Interesting, interesting. Flamingo Concierge is not answering right now. The mailbox is full and cannot accept new messages. To disconnect, press 1. <laughs> it's that day. That's all I can do. I did call from my phone to the corporate uh, flamingo to see if we can get late checkout, but they said no. <laughs> I just wanted that complimentary hour. I even said I booked the most expensive room here. Does that matter? Can I can I just have an extra hour? That she's like, no. <laughs> it's like oh, I'm okay. <laughs> So there's two pools here, the beach club, which is up there, and then the go pool. I think the go pool is the main, the bigger pool, so we're going to go to that one. So to wrap things up, Metropolitan Suite, which is the best room at Flamingo, it's not, you know, not spotless, but if you're going with a crew of people, you're pulling your money together, you're trying to, you know, party, you know, have a good time, you don't need the room to be spotless, then this is an amazing option for the cost. And Flamingo is always super lively at night, so if that's your vibe, you should go for it. Now the standard rooms, I stayed in a standard room at Flamingo two years ago, 
and it was one of the rooms that was not renovated so it was pretty crappy but they do have a lot of standard rooms that are nice and renovated for such a low cost it's a great option for a lot of people now flamingo itself does have a lot to offer the casino is isn't super big but it has a ton of stuff to do and in addition it has the food court there you have a great steakhouse the wildlife habitat the flamingo wildlife habitat is a pretty cool thing and flamingo is also connected to the link promenade which if you're unfamiliar it's a essentially like fremont street experience but this like a mini fremont street experience for the strip so there you'll have the zip line you have you know, numerous restaurants and bars, and that's also connected to the link. So that's another plus. And in addition, you know, they have a number of other shows besides the Piff the Magic Dragon show, which was awesome. I think that's pretty much it. The last thing I will say is I started a brand new YouTube channel called Pompsy Slots. I'll link it in the description and in the comment section. If you're into slots, it's gonna be one slot video every single day. And uh, so if you're into that, definitely check out the channel. Besides that, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I have a lot more content on the way, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.